man, Joy, we can play highlights to you for a while. You got a lot of highlights going now. I got one or two. <laughs> <laughs> so modest. And that post touchdown action too. You get pretty fired up at Ford Field. Oh yeah, I like to get it fired up in there. Hey. What a dream come true this has got to be. I mean, to think that, uh, you know, four teams it didn't work out with and your hometown team comes through and here you are rushing for, what, 850 yards last year? Yes, sir. Yes, Pretty sir. sweet. I thought they could have thrown to you more, to be honest. I, I, I had you penciled for about 60 catches last year. You know, <laughs> it happens. You're not going to object to that. That's it, what I had penciled in for. It happens. But, of course, the theoretic package became big. Oh, you know, so. I love Real the big. theoretic package. Yeah. Um, you must have been happy about last year. Yeah, he was. Uh, I was happy all around. Um, it, didn't end, it didn't end the way that we wanted, but um, definitely some momentum going into next year. And personally, I mean, you really took over the, the main running running gig. You got more carries than anybody else. Almost a thousand yards. Uh, any chance you think you'd run for a thousand yards this year? Uh, it's definitely a, a, a goal of mine. Um, it's to reach a little bit more than that. Yeah, but um, definitely want to reach uh, over a thousand this year. It's a little a, bit more than that. Yeah. What is the goal? Um, everyone has their personal goals, and I have it, I have it written down on my locker. And, okay. Um, when the season is over with, I'll take a picture of it and um, put it out to the world. What and was I, your goal last year? Can you tell us? My goal last year? Yeah. Um, my goal last year was to get over a thousand all purpose. And um I was able to do that. You know, I can't believe Joy it's not that what do you weigh, Joy? Um, two twenty eight. But I'm looking at you now, I'm going, I can't believe this is the guy who bashes through these mm -hmm. lines who I mean almost it's pretty damn hard to throw you for a loss. You're always gonna get one or two at least. Yeah, you know, that's a goal of mine. Um never let the first defender tackle me. And um that that's kind of one thing I always prided myself on. Um, if you're gonna tackle me, it's gonna be a gang of people. It's not gonna be one. And how's how's the health? Health is good. Health is good, man. Good. Body feels great. Body body feels great now. And how's the, the the news? I'm sorry. The news is like no OTA, no OTA, yeah, no OTA. I'm uh, um, just taking precautions. But uh, I'm there every day. At least um, you'll be fresh. Yeah, I'll be I'm gonna be really fresh. And, you know, um, in the offseason, there's a lot of talk about, well, Joyce's a great inside guy, but we need an outside guy. Do you ever feel like, you know, I'm an outside guy. I can be that outside guy. Or, hey, I'm whatever. Uh, you know, don't label me. <laughs> <laughs> don't label me. You know, that's... that's hey, I think you can do it all, man. Right, and that's, and that's the same way I feel. Uh, if the play needs to go outside, it's going outside. If it needs to go through the middle, I'll go through the middle. It's just um, our game plan... Uh, puts me on the for forefront of being that power back. And um, if that's what I have to be, I can be that. And uh, it's sometimes where I might have to take it to the outside. And, you know, I'm not saying I'm the fastest guy in the NFL, but I can, you know, I can you get that edge. you got pretty good wheels. Yeah, my wheels I mean, pretty good. That was a 67-yard run, that first highlight we had there. You've had some long runs in this league. Yeah. Appreciate your... that. Thanks, Drew. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You bust loose for 57 once this year. Yeah. 57 yards. I uh, guarantee 60... you he knows your stats better than you do. He probably does. Uh, I think we, um, well, it, I was tweeting at the end of the year, Joy, I think he's 20th on the all-time list already. Really? Rushing wow. for the Lions. Yeah. He's got, got past that guy in the top. 1,924 yards, almost 2,000 yards already. Uh, 100 and, let's see, how many catches? 139 catches in three years, 52, 53, and 34. I thought they, eh, I, th I would throw to you out of the backfield a little more <laughs> if I were calling the plays. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, my time is coming. So, is it weird being the veteran of that group now? You know, it's funny. We just talked about that um, the other day, and uh, it definitely is weird. You know, I've been the vet on my college team, mm -hmm. and uh, and um, the first time I've been the vet on the NFL team. So, but in those in the meeting room, I mean, because you got to think about it. last year we had four guys that were older than me last year. And now all of them are gone. Wow. And you're, you still talk to Reggie? Still talk to Reggie. How's Reggie doing? Reggie's doing good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Reggie's What's doing that good. snicker about? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie's doing good. I mean, he's back on the West Coast. He's back home. So, you know, he, he's he's good. Do you like it here? The, did he like it yeah. here? Or was it just kind of different from... No, no. He loved it. No, he loved the city. He's a California he, guy. Yeah. I mean, he didn't like the cold. He didn't yeah. like the cold, but loved the city. Yeah. It's a great football town, though. I mean, people that come here from outside must be a little blown away at the uh, Lions' worship. You know what? When I left from um, team to team to team, and I was able to come back home, I definitely appreciated my hometown crowd a lot more. Uh, not saying the other cities didn't have great crowds, but it's nothing like... I don't know if, it, if it's because I'm from here, but uh, it's nothing like coming home to... Um, 
my Detroit fans. Well, you, what's your recognition factor like uh, on the streets? Because, you know, you guys wear helmets, and it's sometimes yeah. a little hard to recognize people, but people must be no. noticing you a hell of a lot more. No, no. I don't, people don't really notice me. No? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, one or two here and there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's got to be a little extra fun to be playing as well as you're playing in your hometown. That's got to be, I mean, you must be getting off. Yeah, I mean, I... You know, you you hear you you hear you see these stories on TV, but I never thought I'd be actually living it. You know, so definitely a great feeling to have, and um, I think that what helps drive me knowing that I'm out there running for my city, I'm running for the name on the back of my jersey, and uh, I'm running for my family. You know, we're all based out of Michigan, and so I think that's one reason why um, I want success so bad. Um, because I know uh, once I once I become successful, it's not just me, but it's also the people from my city who feel that they are a part of me because I'm from the same neck of the woods that they're from. It's kind of like uh, Jason Jones feels the same way. Being exactly. From here. Exactly. You're talking to him about exactly. that. No, from, it's great. A lot Jay of great Jones, to, uh, I mean, we call him Jay Jones. So. All right. Sorry. <laughs> so Jason Jones, we call him Jay Jones. So I call him Jay Jones. Um, and um, George Wynn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, George, yeah. Yeah, George I Wayne. called him Joik 2.0. Because <laughs> the story's similar. Yeah, similar yeah. running yeah, styles. Yeah, similar. Um, so, I mean, and you can see in our play. You can see, oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> George came in to training camp last year and was just wreaking havoc. I mean, dropping his shoulder down on linebackers in practice and going out there in the games and doing the same thing in the games and making a name for himself. And he was able to stay on this team through what he did on special teams and what he did in the backfield. And um, he played with that edge, you know. And, um, you know, he represented Detroit to the fullest. You know, he's from Southfield, but, you know, all one area. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, you can tell he's from the area. Have hey, you been, oh, th 35 is in the house. Joyke Bell is in, in his the house. house. <laughs> Absolutely. In his house. What up? It's his house now. You want to take calls from What up, though? Yeah, uh, let's get some calls. Uh, Joyke said he wanted to take some phone calls. He I want to take a couple to phone calls, man. Call him. What's the number? What's the number? 248-544-1051. Hey, somebody doing? get the number for me and put it in front of me. Yeah, put it in front of Joyke. Get some people fired up to call in Joyke. Come Give on. us a call. 248-55. No, I'm sorry. 248-544-1051. <laughs> Or you can text at 51051. I got to hear that podcast with the... Stop uh, making it sound so easy.